to the channel same day different video as y'all see in this one like we already done reviewed and we did the uh my first drive in this beautiful acura integra type s not poverty spec even though it has some poverty spec features in it and if y'all don't know who cars this is this is my boy q the chaotic right here man give him a shout out to him what's going on youtube q the chaotic you know the channel you follow the moc yeah and if you don't we are one half of the moc that's me q the chaotic race car friends and a hunting gang nate if you don't know where to find them man they're in my feature uh channel section they're in his feature channel section and we are on their feature channel section man or channel so i can't talk right now because i got so much going on in my mind right now after driving this but we're not going to talk about this no more because y'all can see that video how i talked about this now we're going to give this right here a try and the whole moc know Q know that before this car came out just looking at it like this is the car that i really wanted to have to cart my family around in and to have fun in the mountains so y'all drop a comment below right now like which car y'all think could be fun in arizona in the mountains the type s or the gr corolla like this car is like something that i would get for the mountains because it just has that finesse and it looks like you gotta have more fun in this car versus this car so but i guess i'm going to drive this car because right now i think it's in this natural habitat don't you think this is where it needs to be <laughs> so right now i don't get enough rain in arizona like so but here this car will shine right here versus this car i have driven uh this car liked the rain but it was fighting it a little bit this car i don't know first time seeing the gr corolla so we about to go ahead and get in the car so right now let's walk around the car and like get my impressions of it just as it sits so as it sits here man like i was just telling q like this car ignore this sitting here ignore like just block this out like as this that. as this car sit here this car he got it done nice like this how i would do my gr corolla he got the red mirror caps or is that a wrap that's a wrap, that's a wrap. he got yeah. the wrap he got the wrap on in not mirror cap so he didn't go cheap there <laughs> The, the hood wrap is like, the roof wrap is nice. And then he added the mud flaps on here. So that brings this car out aesthetically, especially it breaks up the black. And then the tent, this man tent is murdered out. You cannot see in there. Like, okay, we got to bring this car back into perspective just so y'all can see like the tent difference. Like y'all can see right here. Like you can see inside the interior a little bit. Like over there, it's like murdered out. You can't see in here at all. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say there. So, we're going to block this back out again. And just looking at the front, I like how it looks here. I like the fog lamps. I like how it gets so much air into it. So, that is something nice. It's just, uh, looking at it, it's hard to tell the difference between this. Like, even though you got the badger from an average Corolla on the road. Because I have seen, like, uh, what is it, an SE? XSE. SSE. Yeah. I did see one of those on the road. So, it's kind of hard to tell. But this black is nice. If I had to get one, I would get it in black. I don't like white look on this car, so I'll get the red uh, on these cars. Them are the only two options I would get. Um, but looking at it so far, they gave you some nice brakes. Like, look at the slotted brakes. That is so sexy to me right there alone. And then you got the nice, the wheels look nice for this car. It's, it's very nice. It look like they get dirty like my Camaro. <laughs> so that's crazy for this being a wait is this a real all-wheel drive setup all-wheel drive. All drive setup so it's crazy how it gets that much dust on the front and the rears doesn't um but maybe just based on like the profile of the brakes and the rotors up up front uh but overall it looks nice he got the nice scoop here i don't know does it do anything oh yeah oh okay i can put my fingers in there pause oh, like <laughs> i can get real nasty with it's it pause the that came up. <laughs> they don't know about that they don't oh, know okay. about it okay. <laughs> um but yeah that's nice that that feature works there it's not just um like something just painted on there just for looks or anything so that's nice that they put the thought into that um, looking at it from the far, like it's it's sleek, it's sleek and nasty right there. Nice little hatchback, it give me hatchback vibes, it give me GR, uh, no, Golf R vibes a little bit, but a little bit. I think this looks sexier than the Golf R. That's just to me because the Golf R, I don't like how they come to the uh, back and it just flat. Yeah, that's what kills me on the Golf R a little bit. No ass. Yeah, it just yeah, it's <laughs> nothing right there. Like, I can't. 
I can't do nothing. Like right here, I'd be like, girl, what you doing with all that right here? Like, girl, what you doing out here with so much? <laughs> yeah, so I, I like that on that. I mean, she got a nice little bubble, like right here. Like, <laughs> they come like this too? Like, or? So it comes with a little, a smaller spoiler than this. Okay. It comes, it's, it's not as extreme as this, but this is the circuit spoiler, which the previous owner put on there. But I would have had done this as well because it makes it look a lot better. Yeah, I like that a lot. I can tell the difference right there. It just brings out the car a lot, especially in black too. Mm -hmm. So the tri exhaust, like that is something that's new to me. It's nice. Q can probably tell you guys about it a little bit more. But uh, I say it's, I like how it looks. I like that design, what the JDM cars is doing. Just like this Integra here, I had to say it because he got both. Like, me personally, I like the girthiness oh, yeah. <laughs> of the taggy. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, versus this a little bit. But it serves its purpose. Like, maybe you can come with, like, a custom. They will come out, like, with a custom diffuser, and then you can switch it up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. But... <laughs> Yeah, I like the flaps. It gave me rally car Subi vibes. Yeah. I mean, but this is better than a Subi, but. Oh, oh, uh, oh. It's so much better than yeah. a Subaru. Yeah. Me and Subaru got beat, but that's. Uh, yeah, I mean, major shout out to Subi because during the whole pandemic, I got to give it to them out of all the car manufacturers I was looking at. They did have a car available, the WRX. That's the only one I'm looking at. And they didn't do that much of a markup. Uh, Keston, race car friends, don't ever tell me about no Subaru again. Like, trash. <laughs> That's done with me harping on Subi. Looking on the outside, the mirrors look good. You got the LEDs right here. I like how they did the side skirts right here. Uh, watching cute videos, he can tell you about the mods oh, yeah. that he did with this. So he know I like to mod my cars a little bit. Oh, yeah. But just one little simple mod that doesn't make sense to me mentally caused a problem on this so y'all go to his video and check out what mods he did to this recently uh oh he's struggling he's struggling here so let's see here am i gonna zonk this too because y'all know what the acura i had to zonk what is he looking for what is he looking for Oh, what are we doing here? We finding holes. We got a prize scoop. Come on. Hey, it's nah. You see that angle? That's yeah, that. We got angles on here. Yeah, but come in here, like, uh, this is a 1.6 liter? Yep. So 1.6 liter uh, single turbo? Or. Uh, I uh, think so. I think so. No, nah, okay. So I think this is the a one. The turbo's on the back of the engine. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know too much about these, but I know it's a 1.6 liter. It makes 300. 300. Yeah, 273 pound-feet of torque. So, that's a lot coming out of a small engine, man. That That is phenom uh, phenomenal to me. What you think? Yeah, uh, the boost is high. It's like 22 pounds of Okay. Boost, but it's, it's a Toyota, so it's reliable. They got the GR yards for those. It's going to say, ooh, yeah. 50,000 miles, kaboom. Like, no, they, this is tried and true already. Yeah. See, and that's what's, that's what's crazy to me, man. Because, you know, with a GM car, y'all know I'm a Camaro guy, but domestic, like, for a V6, they had 355 on the Camaro, 355 on the Torque. This here is, the cylinders is way less. 1.6 liter. <laughs> And this thing here, like, this is a two, wait. Three cylinder. Three cylinder. It's half of that and making that much power, man. Like, it, that is crazy. That is crazy making 300. Like, that is phenomenal, especially on the torque side, too. So, this looks like a fun car to drive already. So, this is what it looks like. I like how Q got this match in the outside, unless that came it like came that. came like that. See, he nasty. <laughs> See, he nasty. The accents of the whole car, man. Yeah, <laughs> See, Q, Q could dress up a car, man. It's like, look, he even got his shoes. Like, look at the oh, shoe game. He's oh, dressing yeah. up nice, man. You know they used to call me Ranch. Uh, Ask me why. Because I be dressing. Oh, <laughs> bars. <Dad> bars. <laughs> so we walking into here. Let's see what the interest we have. Ooh-wee. So, GR Corona, this looks like it lights up a little bit. I could be wrong. I don't but, think it do. But for it to be a uh, Corolla, what you can use, like, this looks pretty nice as a fun car to be in. So, sitting in here. Okay, this is the car that I really want, though. So, 
we're going to see. Oh, yep, I remember. So it got a lot of poverty specs up in here. I can feel <laughs> like it. Uh, But this is feel like more race car vibes. Oh, yeah. The seats are a little bit more. The bolstering is a little bit more. Uh, it's not. It's hard to say. It's not tighter, but it gives me more of a, a race car vibe, though. Oh, yeah. His tent is like dark <laughs> in here, but it looks good. But I could tell the difference, like sitting in here, like a little bit darker out in here than it was how it looked outside. So I like that uh, that button. That button is nice, showing that GR Corolla, that GR start and stop. Ooh, did you get the exhaust work done in here? Stop. It got a nice little growl to it. This sounds louder than the uh the taggy. It just might be. It just don't do the pops, but it's it's a this good sound, exhaust. Yeah, okay. This sounds pretty good. I like the uh the gauge up here, so the gauges is nice. Uh the infotainment is nice. It looked like they went poverty spec on here a little bit. Uh, but it's still nice though. Uh -huh. The gauges are nice and big though on here. The shift knob it looks a lot better. It's a lot better. Okay, I like how it sits tall too. You're yeah. gonna have to let me know, like, if this because when I went to Subi, they told me like I had to use this for every gear. Then one of my uh subscribers and followers who watched the channel when I did the Subaru drive, they said, No, you use this for reverse. That's yeah, the that's, same thing, that's only reverse. See, I see Subaru I almost messed up y'all transmission, <laughs> but hey, y'all, y'all let me do the test drive, and that's what y'all told me to do. So, right, that's on them. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I like this, and it's got the man brake here. So this is something I'm used to. The only reason because I learned how to drive a manual with one of these, so I'm just accustomed to that in every manual car. So we're gonna go ahead and go for a drive before it gets dark. So let's go ahead and do that. That man brake is nice. It feels good to have that. That boy beefy. Let me switch this up a little bit. Avoid excessive acceleration due to temperature. So the back button gonna be right here to cancel that, cause that thing no. Okay every single time okay so all right we're gonna see how the clutch feel the clutch engagement is nice it didn't take that long so okay the steering wheel ooh, the <laughs> steering wheel is nice and warm in this one fellas heated and ladies <laughs> like the steering wheel is very nice okay this is seem like this car is in its right element, all wheel, uh, all wheel drive. I would like to say. Let's get you. We gonna start you off in track mode. What? And sport. What? Okay. These roads, it's like, oh, I can't do nothing crazy. Y'all thought I was gonna do a pool. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, this this road. Terrible. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Especially that side. <laughs> yeah, these roads is horrible. But this car, uh, this car got six gears too, right? Yep. Okay. It's simple though. I feel like these are one of those cars that's hard to like um, harp on them because it's simple, but it's effective for what it do. Like they built it just for one purpose and like one purpose only. Oh yeah. But you can tell like they kind of like um, floor. It. <laughs> wow, so it stops at a Wow, it stops at 6,000 It should go to 7,000 Yeah, that's why I was <laughs> <laughs> That's why you see me like bargaining out Because I'm looking at the uh, the tag oh, no, And I, I know, know I can go to 7, but it's kept stopping me at 6 Uh-oh, what we doing? I wonder if it's because it's not warm yet Pro That's probably so Because <laughs> it'll flash yellow at you When you uh, need the shift Okay let me be nice on it. Let me <laughs> let the car warm up. I'm trying to keep the wipers on for you guys. Yeah, this ain't got none of that. Uh... Oh, look, I'm up here putting the back wipers on. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. But yeah, the heated steering wheel in this car feels so good. I'm doing the regular speed limit in here. The car, I'm going to let the car warm up because it was acting funny. They didn't want me to go to 7,000. <laughs> But this car, like the, the handling wise, just doing a small little, small little turns on the road, like swerves, like the handling on this car is nice. I cannot believe it. So they call this sport and track mode. So what does sport and track mode do? Do it change the suspension or it make the steering wheel stiff or? So the suspension don't change, but sport mode will make the steering stiffer, which is needed because it's too, too light in normal mode. Okay. And track okay. mode is 50-50 distribution for the torque, 50% in the front. 
50% in the rear. Okay, okay. And you can change it to 60, 40, and 70, 30, but since it's raining out here, 50, 50 gonna be appropriate unless you're trying to slide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not trying to slide and mess up this, mess up your ride. <laughs> <laughs> Don't beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, but the screen here is nice, it's accessible, it's not like, if there was a, uh, like, if it was sunny, do you get like a glare on this uh, screen at all? No glare on this either. Okay, that's good. It's all good. Okay, nice. Now, with his tint being dark, you said it was about 20% tint? I think so, yeah. Like, it's not that bad at all. Like, as much screen, I mean, window real estate or screen, I'm saying screen, but window real estate he has, it's not that bad for how dark it is. And I bet you this looks sinister, especially with, like, the mud flaps he got on here. Like, I know this car look good riding, <laughs> riding by. It's roomy in here, too. Like, but... I am like my elbows like kind of almost can like touch cues. Oh like, yeah. But like, you don't have no I got a zonky though like where my elbow gonna sit though? <laughs> like I'm looking for an armrest. It's not here. That's the mod. You got a mod of armrest in here. They took it out. What? I have no idea why it's no armrest. Like that sucks. <laughs> it I, does. I, I mean I guess but if I'm making this as a fun car as, as a game because as y'all know like I'm making this I'm looking for a car that I can take the family on and enjoy and still have fun with but here it's like man as far as going on long roads and comfort like that right there kind of take it away a little bit nah <laughs> like if i was going like oh yeah i'm going on the mountains i'm about to dog this car out like yeah this is the car to get i wouldn't care but man that kind of sucks like the cup holders is, is nice decent size but where it sits at like if you get a lot it's like in the way of your shifting though too yeah it is so they didn't think that out a little bit. But the car overall, I mean, it's still dry. It still dries fine based on like what Q gets on his um, gas miles. You get like 25 miles to the gallon on here, it seems like, or based on his trip. So that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, that ain't normal though. That's an abnormal trip. <laughs> oh, so I'm just letting me get past a few cars in this traffic and this, this thing is zippy. Oh yeah. This thing is fun to drive <laughs> in these elements. Oh yeah, maneuvering through traffic. Like yesterday I was driving in the rain, like it just pulled, like that's, I'ma let you get your your feel on that. I ain't even gonna say nothing. Yeah, we, <laughs> almost, we almost do a section where I can do a pull. Yeah. I just gotta get over. <laughs> but the way this car rides, it gets, it's hot in here too. Oh yeah, like, let's this, turn that like, This oh. thing like gets, like the heating system in here is pretty good. So it didn't take that long for us to be in the car. So that's why I brought it up. Like it heats up pretty quick. Oh yeah really dial this in on the on the tuning aspect yeah we're gonna need to see what we can be done to that to like to mitigate some of the the check engine lights that i got on the simple mod but yeah y'all see about that later yeah yeah I'll turn around up here with our car with our white car yeah okay Yeah, you see, y'all see that boy shifting. Oh, good yeah. learning from the manual. We not jerk. Drop it down a second, Gary. You, you, oh. you did that. Let me see your red match down shift. Okay, right. look at that. Don't test me. All right, floor it now, floor it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. The car had to get hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this car is addicted right here. Now that is where this car shines. Okay, now that is where this car shines right there. So they have some type of built-in like safety feature, I guess, where the car need to warm up. Maybe because it's like a three-cylinder, so they don't want you blowing it up. So it had to like, when it's not warm, it stops you at like 6,000, um, as y'all seen before. But now after the car warmed up, that thing was revving out to like 7,000 every time it was begging for more. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah, and this car got up there. It felt good to getting up there. I didn't lose no traction, and it was like a different car. Like, okay, so if y'all seen my first video or the video before this, I was in the Integra Type S, and the Integra was like sliding a little bit, trying to fight to stay straight. Oh yeah, hit it on this turn right here. You got it. Second gear. I got it. Oh yeah. All right. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, bang it. <laughs> it got traction. Oh my gosh, this car got traction. Yeah, we gonna get back on the highway right there. Oh, uh, I am not uh. used to that. This is a different animal. <laughs> And then let this car go in front of us. Like you can hit these curves up here too. It'll take it. 
Second gear, please. What? Just, yeah, let that car go ahead uh -oh, a little uh -oh. bit. <laughs> and then, like, around that second curve up there, like, man, this, this is where it's going to shine. Recommended 25, but we can do a lot more than that. Shit, I'm doing less than that now. <laughs> Let's see. I'm doing... In the wet. It's going to grip. <laughs> I can't believe that. You scared me. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! I'm not even gonna tell y'all what I did. The car did not. I felt like I could do more. The car was not uh, like slipping out. <laughs> that was at least double that. <laughs> yeah, that's all we're gonna say. That was double that. <laughs> With ease, and the car was like begging for more. Like that's all you got? Yeah. <laughs> Man, the district. <laughs> Like that is crazy that in this car that you can like switch the um, the distribution of it to go from 50 to 50. What was he said, 60 to 40? Uh huh, 70, 30. Or 70. That is crazy in this car. Like 50 to 50 is perfect for me. I would leave it at 50 to 50 all the time. I don't see what the difference would be. Yeah. Um, I guess if I want the rear end to kick out more. Yeah. Than so like when it's dry, I'm in 70, 30 all the time. But if it's anything like inclement like this. Okay. I'm 50 50 because I want that grip. Yeah, and this <laughs> and this can grip. And like what type what kind of tires you got on here? I got winter tires on here, so there's some British steam, some some new tire oh company. Oh my god. And look, <laughs> I'm gripping in winter tires. So can you imagine like if you had summer tires on here, like that that corner would probably be probably three times what the sign is supposed to be. Yeah. This car is all about the grip. It just grips so hard no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. You can drop it down the third and get off on this exit. And we can uh, do some pulls up here. All right. Now I'm I must taking the clutch out too fast when it jerks. Yeah. Oh, why they getting over? Why, why you, you, you want to do that? Why you getting uh, over? Hey, you suck at driving. Why? You, why? Why? <laughs> you just messed up the whole pull. Right. Not, dang. <laughs> Uh -huh, bitch can't do this, <laughs> 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 Make a left up here. Yeah, you didn't think this car was that quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was a regular Toyota. Nah, this a GR Corolla, baby. And people think that a lot, too. It's like, that's just a Corolla. And then I'm like, hey, man, you got to respect this car. You can't be disrespecting yeah. my Corolla like that. Yeah, that's the thing. It looks, it looks like the average uh, Corolla on the outside. That's why people have that, but that perception of it but the driver experience is nice oh yeah it's nice <laughs> this would be definitely a fun car uh if i had to take it back to arizona uh this would be a definitely a fun car in the mountains guarantee like just the whole you can switch the distribution and all of that stuff like yeah this car is nice but is this the right car for me and my family? That is the thing, especially as you guys know, I have a Camaro in my fleet. Rear wheel, all wheel drive, pushing about five. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, see, it's little stuff like this, little stuff like this, sitting at a light, and this car just like two RPM, like it know I was about to launch it. Yeah, this car here is fun, but as y'all know, my car, rear wheel drive, sitting at like 550 to the rear wheels. Is this something that I would get on the side? That's right. Because <laughs> as you know, I want to have my family with me. I want to have like a car with at least some room. Like, so I'm looking in the back seat as we hear like. Can't even see back there. They ain't yeah, got dark on. Dang, <laughs> you can't even see back there, but just looking at it, just take oh, my uh, word for it. This parking lot right here, let's do some handling. <laughs> yeah, just taking my word for it, it's like, this is pretty tight. Yeah. Like, it gives me, the rear seat here reminds me of my uh, Camaro. Like, when I have my boys, like, they cannot sit in here, they cannot sit in here comfortably, <laughs> I would say. Like, maybe five or seven, but then car seats, but yeah. Let's go ahead and try to whip this boy around. <laughs> Let's see how hard you I can do this. I see that curve there, so we're yeah. going to go around here. <laughs> a man that recognizes curve is a friend of mine. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to just mess up your car. Uh. <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
it's, it's like a slide, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out how did Toyota do donuts in this thing? Nah, it feels hard. It is it hard. It feels like we're going to slip out, but it's hard to like swing this thing. Let me switch it to 70 30 real quick. It's still going to be hard to do. Let's see. You want to let me? Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's still hard. <laughs> Like, I want you had to hit the handbrake up to, like, do it? Yeah, like, hit the handbrake in the turn. You got to put the clutch in, hit the handbrake. I'm not doing it. Uh -uh. You're not doing it? Uh, no, you got to do it. I'm not that experienced. Uh -uh. All you got to do, hit the handbrake and, and mm -mm. bang. Mm -mm. No, 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 not today. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> No, I am not messing up this man's phone card and y'all gonna be in the comment section talking about me. You see Blueprint, he done messed up Q's GL Corolla trying to fish tell it. Nope, not today. Not today. Uh, this car overall, like this was a car that I really was sought on having, like wholeheartedly because I wanted this car to be fun. It's small, something small, something that has space. Gotta pull up on it. Ah, it's to the, the up, left. Up, up, <laughs> to the left. Okay. Oh, to the left. Yeah. Oh, this is different. Oh, man, I know. I can imagine like this is kind of hard for you, right? It like, is. Uh, like <laughs> to remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of hard. Like up to the left. Like my mind was like, huh? Yeah, because like, that one is right year. now. Yeah, it's first world problems, man. It's like, yeah. I my car to <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Y'all got up there? Okay, yeah, we cool. good. We Gucci. In kind of see, but the back seat is kind of tight. So overall, I'm surprised this man got a car seat back here. But overall, like this is how I would be, but uh it's kind of it's kind of tight for me cuz I have boys and boys grow like taller and uh my boys are pretty big for their age anyway and this reminds me of like my Camaro. Like it's tight in the back seat. So Overall, me being a family man, like this would be a fun car, but maybe if they was slightly older, I would get this. But as of now, as I've been wanting it for so long, I'm gonna have to knock this off my list though. Mm. But this is fun. This is a fun car to drive. I'm not gonna knock it. Like I'm coming out of a Camaro, like in these elements like this, as y'all can see, like it's raining and stuff. I can imagine Q's gonna have fun with this when it snows here, whenever it does. Cause that's what's odd here. Like I thought it was gonna snow here. Y'all see me got this big jacket on, this North <laughs> Face. Usually around this time, it was snow and it's not snowing here. So it's just rain. So this car is absolutely fun to drive in the rain. It's better than my rear wheel drive car with so much horsepower. This car, I was doing crazy amount of pulls in the rain and it was staying planted the whole time. So. Yeah, I really enjoyed this car. Major shout out to Q for letting me drive this man car. This man is just nice and nice hey. and with the keys, man. The <laughs> man he's just driving, man. Major <laughs> shout out to him, man, like on letting me get this car and test drive because he know like what I was looking for. So now I got Lego with race car friends and see how it is to drive the CT, the, the what's that? I call it the CTR, but the Civic Type R because I'm driven the Taggy. And uh, this man that went out and got the Golf R, even though I talked so bad about it, like with that, with the butt on there, you know, oh, yeah. like that car. But yeah, so now we're about to walk to the back though, see how the space looks. All right, so outside, look at the lighting of it. So the lights is nice. It's nice. Y'all ignore this. It does give me a little bit of, like taggy vibes, but this is nice in its own right. That bubble butt, you know, BBW <laughs> right here, man. That's all I'm thinking of. It's nice. It's real nice on here. So, oh, the light is under here. Up under, that's the uh, reverse light. Oh, I feel that. You see that? <laughs> that reverse light is right there, man. So I thought it was fancy. See, that's a Volkswagen type thing. Yeah. See, I did the same. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> so look at the space. So the space is wow. It's a lot um, shallower than I thought, based on how it looks. Is it deeper here too, or this just a spare tire? That's a. Uh... I don't even know what's on Oh, there. Like wow. So, yeah, you got the the battery and, like, extra stuff. So, wow. So, I'm shocked by this a lot because you would think it would have a deeper trunk space. So, they use a lot of foam and stuff to, like, put the battery and stuff. But they could have made this trunk space a lot deeper, don't yeah, you think? Absolutely. This trunk is not big enough for anything, really. I put my little backpack in there. So I normally walk around with two backpacks, sometimes three. Uh-huh. Basketball camera work stuff. This car can only handle like two, and it's packed, man. It's, it can't be a family car. Yeah, yeah. You and the dog, 
you got you and a little Shih Tzu or a little Yorkie, you can do it. But if you got yeah. anything, kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this car done, as y'all know, like this car, man, I thought it would be the one, but driving it, it, it is the one track form but i already have my track car coming from my situation if you didn't like you said like this would be a fun car you know single guy you know you want to have fun it's not hard on the gas because this take premium right or premium. so this take premium gas so you're, t you're not going to be hit on hard on the pockets that much because i assume the tank is small on here yeah. but you can have but you can have fun with it it looks nice it's a nice little rally car from the side man so you can do a lot with it. So this is a nice car I would have if I was a single guy. And ain't no room. <laughs> and look, he opened the door like, look, there's barely any room for like, I'm not even gonna attempt to sit back there. Nah. <laughs> so with me having two kids, <laughs> like look, Q, and how tall are you Q? Six feet. See, he's six foot and look how he getting back there without adjusting when he sat up front. You see, like he barely struggling yeah. Like you said, he had to tilt his head in and look Can't at that. Like, foot in here. Look, see? <laughs> so that right there, even if he came to town to visit me and stuff, like I can't really enjoy this car, especially if the whole MOC linked up together. It was all at one location. This car is pretty hard to accommodate that. Yeah. So we're going to uh, wrap it up, this video, and I'm just going to say, like, I like this car. Like I said, like, this is a fun car. I, I can zonk it in many ways, but I gotta sit back and think how why Toyota built this car for what it is, so and what they had to work with. So overall, it's a fun car to drive. It's really uh I like what they did to it. I know they had to take it from a basic Corolla and they switched it to a like more more sportier type of car. Um, but this, I don't think this the car is for me like I thought it was to tote my family around in. And I feel like the Integra, since it's just here, and I'm not just throwing it up, but like since this is here, like that seems like a better buy for me to have fun, take it to the track, even though this is a track car too, but this, uh, the Integra is a little bit more fun. Um, I would say that due to the amount of space that I have versus this one here. This one here coming from a Camaro, it feel like I bought another Camaro just in Japanese form. <laughs> uh, that's how I feel like it. With a little bit more space, but actually, the Camaro has more space than this. So I feel like I just bought the same car twice, just with two extra doors. So, yeah, major shout out again to Q, the chaotic, that let me drove his cars. And we was chaotic with the cars, even in rainy conditions. <laughs> uh, this car is phenomenal in the rain versus this one trying to find traction in the rain. But this car is fun in all different type of elements. And it, it proved that to me. It proved to me that you can't be hard on it till it warms up. So shout out to Toyota Lake putting that feature in there just can't dog it out so and it goes up to like seven thousand eight thousand rpm so i just stopped at seven but it could rev higher and what you guys have seen so far like it's a fun car to rev out and i really enjoy that so that's gonna wrap this video up man if, uh, if y'all like this video y'all know what to do hit that like button subscribe subscribe to q channel subscribe to the moc and like that i'm out <laughs>